Grace, what's the time? It's time for Maths with Mr. Thomas. Chapter 6, lesson number 3, the method of differences in the sequences and series chapter. Remember, a series is just the sum of the terms of a sequence. And often you can use an algebraic identity to help find the sum of a series. And there is another useful tool known as the method of differences that takes advantage of when terms in a series can't cancel. So let's look into an example. Example one showed that a third of k bracket k plus one k plus two minus a third bracket k take one k k plus one equals k bracket k plus one. Part b to just that the sum of k bracket k plus one going from k equals one up to n is equal to n bracket n plus one bracket n plus two all over three. And then for part c evaluate the sum of the series one times two plus two times three plus three times four plus dot 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 plus 99 times 100. So let's look at part A. First of all, show that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Well, what we're doing is we're starting off with that left-hand side and we want to show that it's equal to this. How could we go about doing that? What would we maybe do? Maria, help us out. Perfect, you could factorize. If we look here, we could take out a factor of one third. Great, we can take out a third as a common factor. Anything else? Good, we can also take out k. k is also a common factor. Anything else? Brilliant, you can also take out k plus one. k plus one is also a common factor. So let's take out the third, the k and the k plus one. That'll mean that is what we have. And then we are left with, just gonna put in curly brackets because I've already got normal brackets. We are left with a k plus two. And then take away, and then we've got a k take away one. What is the next step? What would you do after that, Ben? Good, you would simplify what is in these brackets. So if you simplify that, you've got a K plus two, take away K and then a take away one. So that will give us, well, we've got a K plus two, take away K and then a plus one, meaning we'd have K take away K and we'd have a two plus one. So really the, this bracket here simplifies and then just becomes three. From there, well, you've got a third and you're multiplying that by three. And if you multiply a third by three, you just get one. So it's one times K times the K plus one, which is just K bracket K plus one. Woo, that's your answer. Part B to just that, the sum of K bracket K plus one going from K equals one all the way up to N is equal to N bracket N plus one bracket N plus two all over three. So the first thing we're thinking is if we want the sum of k bracket k plus 1 going from 1 all the way up to n, well really k bracket k plus 1 is equal to what we had in part a. We know k bracket k plus 1 is equal to a third k, k plus 1, k plus 2, take a third k, take 1, k, k plus 1. So let's sub that in. We are still wanting the sum going from k equals 1 all the way up to n. The next step would just be to start off subbing in the values of k. So we're starting with k equals one, so let's replace k with one. So we'd have a third times k is one, multiplied by one plus one, which is two, and then one plus two, which is three. We are taking away a third. If k was one, well that's one take away one, which is zero, and then k is one, and then one plus one, which will be two. And all of that was when k is one. After that, what do we do, Amna? Perfect, you sub in k to be two. So if you do that, well, a third is staying as one third. If k is two, that would be two. Two plus one would equal three. Two plus two would equal four. We're then taking away one third again, stays as it is. And then if k was two, you'd have two take away one, which is one. And then two. And then two plus one, which is three. And all of that is when k is two. I'm sure you get the idea after that you would replace k with 3. So when k is 3, you'd have a third times 3 times 3 plus 1, which is 4, 3 plus 2, which is 5. Take away a third of, and then this here works out to be 3 take away 1, which is 2. That stays as 3, and that's 3 plus 1, which is 4. What are you noticing here if you keep on going? Good, a couple of people noticing this. What we have is a third times one times two times three, but later on when we sub in the next value of k, we are then subtracting that. So we are subtracting the third k, a third one times two times three, and we're starting off with a third one times two times three, but they're canceling out. Also, 
if you look next, on the next line we've got a third times two times three times four, but on the next line we're then subtracting a third times two times three times four. So they will also cancel out. As we keep on going, what's going to happen? Well, with this pattern, we are eventually going down to subbing in N in place of K. And if you do that, you'll have a third times replace K with N. So it's N, then N plus 1, then N plus 2. Then take away a third times N, take away 1, N, and then N plus 1. So we're going down to that. But what you're noticing is here when you do this, you're cancelling these two. You're then cancelling these two. So whatever is first here is going to cancel with whatever is second on the next line. So that will cancel with whatever comes next when k is 4. Then this will cancel with the next one. Then it cancels with the next one. Really what's going to happen then is with this line, you're going to have the line before that. And whatever came first with that line before that will cancel with the last term here, which will be this line. Really, this one would cancel if you were going to n plus 1. That would cancel with the next one, but we're not going to n plus 1. So really what we're left with is just the third n, n plus 1, n plus 2. And we're also left with this takeaway 1 third times 0 times 1 times 2. Really then, if you work that out, well this third n, n plus 1, n plus 2 is just going to stay and we're really taking away a third of 0 times 1 times 2, which is really just 0. So really, we're left with this n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. We're taking a third of that, which means we're dividing that by 3. And if you take 0 away, well, that just stays as it is. So that there is your answer, which we are expecting. Woo! So you can see there, they cancel, and that is what we're left with. Part C, evaluate the sum of the series 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus all the way up to 99 times 100. So with this then, because we are wanting to evaluate the sum of the series, we know we're going to be bringing in sigma. We are going to be starting with, well we've got 1 times 2 and then we've got a 2 times 3. So let k equal 1. So what's going to happen then? Well, we've got k, we've got the 1, but then we're multiplying by the number above that. So you can see here, moving on, when k is 2, we're multiplying by the number above. Moving on to the third part, when k is 3, well, again, you're multiplying by the number above. So it's going to be k multiplied by the number above that, which will be k plus 1. What do we go up to? Well, we can see we're starting with k is 1, that's the first number in the bracket. Then k is 2, that's the first number in the bracket. It's really the first number in the brackets that's the value of k. And the last one is when we have 99 times 100. Because 99 is first, that will be the value of k. So we're going to evaluate the sum of the series, k bracket k plus 1, going from k is 1 all the way up to 99. Woo! You will notice from that we've worked out that the sum of k bracket k plus 1 going from 1 to n is equal to n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 all over 3. We just worked that out in part b. So what we're doing here, the only difference between this here and this here is we've got the sum of k equals 1 all the way up to n. But if we want the sum going from 1 all the way up to 99, all we do is we replace n with 99. So on the right hand side, we'd replace n here with 99. Replace this n with 99 and this n with 99. Meaning then we'll have 99 times 99 plus 1 times 99 plus 2 all over the 3. If you start to work that out, well that's obviously 99. 99 added 1 is 100, then we'd have 101 and then we divide that by 3. To work that out, multiply, then divide, and that gives you an answer of 333,300. Woo! Try these questions in the book. You're just using the method of differences. Look for when the terms will cancel from one row to the next, and that will help you find the sum of a series. So Unit 2 booklet, pages 15 and 16. Check your answers as you go. Best of luck. Have fun. Enjoy. Woo! Bye.